This lesson will cover working with associative arrays. The topics will include what data types can be used as keys. Also, how can associative arrays be accessed? Moving over to our code example, as you can see, the key that's allowed for an associative array is a string. We still use the square brackets to represent the key, just as with numeric arrays. In this example, we can see an array called dollar name, where we have assigned four values, first, last, age, and occupation. We will then do a var dump to see the result of the assignment. On line 13, you can see how to access elements of an associative array. In this case, we're going to use the printf command to display the full name with two placeholders, the first one occupied by dollar name first, the second one by dollar name last. This should result in Julia Roberts. Let's now look at the code example, moving to the browser. So looking at the var dump, you can see it's an array with four elements. The key is first, the value is Julia, the second key is last, the value is Roberts, the third key is age, the value is an integer, 37, the occupation, string, the value is actress. Again, the full name, Julia Roberts. In review, what data types can be used as keys? Strings are used as associative array keys. How can associative arrays be accessed? We use the square brackets, just as with a numeric array. We enclose the string in single or double quotes, and string is the key that you've assigned to the array. The key can be any arbitrary string value that you assign. This concludes our discussion of working with associative arrays.